AMG, who have uh, great success working for them at the moment in America with Lazy Eyes. Ted, what are the plans? And welcome in. Good morning. Um, well, the plans at the moment are if it gets to the 50s, mm. then we go to the States. If it doesn't make it, then uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> First week it jumped in, what, in the, in the 90s, but that's good because in America yeah. to get in the top 100 is, is It was funny in a way because we, we heard it was being released mm -hmm. and then it was going to be released a week later and then while we were in Melbourne we, we heard it had been released two days ago. So we thought, oh, that's great, you know, we weren't sure whether it was released or not. Yeah. And then uh, we got back to Sydney and heard that it had jumped in the chart and we thought, well, is it released or what? Is, we didn't really know if it was true or not what was happening, so it was a nice surprise really. It's not the first time you've had overseas success, is it? Because way back, probably ten years now, uh, they flew nine. you in a Learjet, it was nine, was it, around nine, Europe yeah. and that? Can you tell us that story? Yeah, well, I just went over to England to, um, to promote a single that was being put out called uh, Ain't It Nice? Mm -hmm. And I just did promotions like um, in Europe and, and London for that. You would have, at that time, been one of the uh, earliest Aussies to sort of break away and go overseas with the chance of making it over there. Yeah, I suppose it was, it was very early on. I think some Easy Beats and a couple of people had done it, that sort but of just thing. Just prior to you, yeah. So it was, you know, it was, it was very different for me at the time. It was Much great. pressure at that time? Uh, no, it wasn't bad because I wasn't working while I was over there, which was great. I had six months off. <laughs> that was hard, you know, <laughs> but uh, it was just promotional work and it was it was good for a change. They actually gave you a, a, your own jet, didn't they, and flew you all over the Yeah, country. it was great. So that Never had that happen. before. Could well happen if it makes the top 50 with this one. All the boys Oh, yeah, probably there, get right? a taxi this time. <laughs> <laughs> what do the fellas feel about it? Well, well they're happy? all rap. I mean, it's the same as me. Like, none of us really knew whether it was released or not. So when we did hear, it was, you know, if, little if only everybody else drank. We've had a party. <laughs> <laughs> what about the album that you've been working on? This it's a live thing, isn't it? <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a bit funny that one because uh, we did the live recording over the last tour, and some of the pubs we just did in Melbourne, and uh, we got into the studio last week to start mixing, and two of the concert tapes are missing, and nobody can find them. So after two days in the studio, we had to scrub it. Oh, so there will be no live album then? Not at the moment, unless they come up with the tapes really fast, so we can get in and do it. Yeah. Otherwise, we're just. Uh, Rehearsing new numbers at the moment to put down a new recorded album. And you go back on the road when? Uh, in about a week and a half we start again you and then we work right through till July I think it is. Whereabouts will you be at the start of the tour? Uh, Melbourne we're starting off. Right. Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, wherever. Overseas to Tassie. Travel a lot, don't you? A Suddenly little bit. Get around. You earn everything, every bit of success that you might get with lazy eyes overseas. No, certainly.